Yo, what's up guys, how you all doing today? My name is Daniel and welcome to another video. Today we got here another analysis and the company we are gonna take a look at today, Moderna. And the reason why we are going to take a look at Moderna, well Moderna is my most invested vaccine stock that I currently own and I literally think that this is the biggest winner of upcoming year 2021 and 2022. These are the positions that we are currently holding in our portfolio on eToro. You can see on the one position that I bought in November 2020, we're currently up by 150% already. Moderna was doing last week phenomenal. A growth of 21% their competitors such as Pfizer, AstraZeneca, Novavax, Johnson Johnson or Sanofi, I think Moderna is the biggest winner of this vaccine race. By the way, we also hold a position in AstraZeneca, Johnson & Johnson and Sanofi, but I'm slowly selling off and I almost forgot <laughs> Vaxart. We also hold a position in Vaxart and I'm slowly selling off Astra and Sanofi and, and I'm gonna keep only Moderna, Johnson & Johnson and uh, Vaxart. When we take a look at the rally from start of April until now <laughs> it's been a fucking ride up and I think we will slowly hit this all-time high spot that we've been on in February but Moderna isn't just a COVID vaccine Moderna is operating in more sectors this is their pipeline as you can see prophylactic vaccines cell surface therapeutics cancer vaccine immunity and oncology localized regenerative therapeutics and systemic intracellular therapeutics I cannot even I cannot not even spell these names right. Nevertheless, in almost all of these sectors, they are developing more than one drug. When you count all of them, it gives you number 24. So they are developing 24 new drugs. But most importantly, they are making the COVID vaccine. And we're gonna take a closer look mainly on this sector. So when you take a look on the supply agreements, they've already signed all of these contracts. 300 million doses with the option for additional 200 million doses only in US. It would give us 500 million doses of vaccine only in the US, European Union, Japan, Canada, South Korea, United Kingdom, Switzerland, Colombia, Israel, Taiwan, Qatar and Singapore. And they are negotiated with COVAX and additional doses in 2021 and 2022 for existing and new customers. They are authorized in 37 countries and they are working on more. But if you compare these numbers of deals with only 17 million doses in 2020, from which 16.8 million was only for USA and Canada. <laughs> it's a massive growth in a short period of time. When we quickly take a look at their earnings, as you can see, they haven't been profitable yet. They did worse every quarter of 2020 than their estimated EPS was. So, because to be honest, like one year ago, well, maybe like, uh, let's say maybe in uh, January, I didn't even know Moderna existed. And I think 99.9% .9 of people of the world didn't know Moderna existed and the COVID vaccine actually pushed them under the light and as you can see their first quarter of 2021 should be finally profitable look at these other estimated EPS it should be bigger and bigger and bigger so this is why I'm telling you if you're going for Moderna you have to understand that this is a long run you have to understand like there will be a profit and I think Moderna will double maybe even triple but it will take a time it will take a year or maybe it's two years but eventually they will grow another thing is that happened last week when Moderna soared by 21% it was mainly due to the issues of their competitors AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson who are experiencing a big problems with their COVID vaccines but Moderna's chief medical officer Tol Zaks made an announcement that could be more important to the biotech stock than the AstraZeneca or Johnson & Johnson stories Zaks said that Moderna expects its booster shots targeting coronavirus variants should be available by the end of 2021 the emergence of these variants could mean that Moderna will be able to count on strong recurring revenue from its COVID-19 vaccine after the pandemic ends. What's most important, European Union is preparing orders of 1.8 billion of these vaccine booster shots. And I have found this article, Moderna's forecasts for sales of the first two doses 
of the vaccine was 18.4 billion for 2021. So the booster shot could add about 9 billion to that. And this should give us a revenue of 27 billion dollars only in 2021, which is amazing. When you compare with Pfizer, who projected at least 15 billion in sales for 1 billion COVID-19 vaccine doses. So the booster would bring an additional 7.5 billion to the pharma giant. So we can see also right here that Moderna is beating Pfizer. Pfizer is holding the greatest share of the US vaccine market. When you compare it to Moderna, Moderna has fully vaccinated more than 27 million people there. That compares to 32 million for Pfizer. But it's important to remember that Pfizer got a head start. And I think that Moderna will keep up with them and they will actually even beat them. Another good news was that recently a study showed that Moderna's vaccine produces immunity for at least six months. Early in the year, CEO Stefan Benzel said antibody decay indicates Moderna vaccine protection may even last a couple couple of years. And I think that this may play a huge role in vaccine picking because when you hear in the news about AstraZeneca, about Johnson & Johnson and all of these problems, there are literally only Pfizer and Moderna to pick from. And for example here in Eastern Europe where I live, we haven't got Moderna yet, but if we would have, Moderna will be my choice. I believe their vaccine most from all of these other companies and the people around me are same. Also on last Friday, UK announced that pregnant women in the country should be offered the Moderna and Pfizer COVID vaccines were available instead of AstraZeneca. So, so as I'm telling you, I'm slowly getting rid of Astra. I'm literally waiting only for their earnings report that I think that, like the price should jump a little higher and that would be the best time for me to sell it. So. Also, Moderna will report its earnings between my 4th and my 9th and this will, and I'm so excited for this because this will shoot the price to the moon. If I'm being honest with you, I'm, I, I really hope that Moderna will fall until, until its earnings date and th there's a big possibility that they will because this is usually what's happening. Closer the stack get to its earnings, it usually falls or it usually grows. Usually when they are estimating high EPS, the stock falls and when the estimated EPS is lower, then the stock grows and if they will fall, there is a big chance that I'll buy more. So my conclusion here is that since day one I felt like Moderna will be the winner of this Covid race. Simply, look, it's an American vaccine company and usually the American companies do the best. And I think it was really easy to predict that US vaccine company will do this good. Because when you look at their business model, they're actually a solid company with a huge potential in all of these other sectors. And when they will use the money from the COVID vaccines and they're gonna use it for cancer and the other sectors they are operating in, I mean, I'm pretty sure like we're only in the beginning of their rise. So my prediction is the current price is 170 I believe that until end of the year we can get somewhere around 280 270 to 280 the analysts are estimating the price will go down on 165 but the highest estimation is 244 but I think these numbers will change once the earnings will be out so yeah if you want to invest in Moderna I would do it now in two weeks we've got the earnings report so yeah that's my view on this company I really believe that they are the true winners yeah guys, so that's all for today's video. If you've liked this video, smash that like button. If you do not want to miss any new videos, subscribe. We are on our way to 400 subscribers. If you want to invest with us on eToro, link is down in the description. You can join our copy family. And yeah guys, see you in the next video. Peace.